Hey, what's up guys? Camp and Russia here. Welcome back everybody to another Fortnite video. Today's a big one. We've got Donald Mustard, creative director at Epic Games, and The Rock teasing things on the exact same day. A Fortnite movie, possibly. Next season, what's happening? Everything we know, and the update that happened last night. Stick around, here we go. First, let's talk about that update. Uh, this is a content update, alright? It's, it's not 19.2, there was no downtime, but we got the new pizza party item. And yeah, thanks to the pizza pit at Tilted Towers, no longer being covered by snow, pizzas are being produced non-stop. These boxes of Slurp Shroom Pizza contain eight surprisingly nutritious slices. Eat them to restore health and shield simultaneously uh, until you get to 100 health and 50 shield. Uh, I'll give you a couple more details in a second, but just some notes on competitive. This was also part of the update. In our 19.2 patch next week, which confirms next week we get our next uh, big update, 19.2, Spider-Man's web shooters will now only have 20 uses instead of 80 in competitive. All right, not in pubs, only in competitive. And, I, I mean, it makes sense. I mean, you in pubs, sometimes I just want to swing around. Use all 80, right? But in comp... Uh, maybe that needs to be balanced out a little bit. Pizza, bar pizza party boxes are currently not in competitive, but are, of course are subject to the evaluation period. Uh, yeah, they're, they're handling that so well. Uh, I would assume these will be in competitive uh, next week or, or a couple weeks from now, but we'll have to wait and see. Here's where you can find pizza party items. Creative uh, supply drop, eliminated llamas, floor loot and chests, and then tomato head at Tilted Towers sells it for 50 gold. Uh, it, it heals both HP and shield at once. So if you have 75 HP and zero shield and you eat one pizza slice, you will now have 100 HP and 25 shield. So that's what that's what it means. It does both at once. So obviously it's an awesome item when you're at that that 75, uh, 25, right? When, when you're below the threshold uh, on both health and shields, that's when you're gonna get the most efficient use out of it. You can only stack one box. Each box, box is eight slices. If you place the box, you can't pick it up again. You can only stack two slices and each slice heals 25 HP shield. And that's the info on our new item. Epic Games, I feel like this season, last few seasons have been listening to us like no other, uh, like, like no other company ever has. And here's another little example. Epic has changed the snow to stop melting at this stage in 19.1. It looks like they listened. This is going to be our map going forward. And if you didn't know, they plan to melt all of the snow over the next couple weeks here. So uh, yeah, we'd have no snow left, maybe just on the top of the tallest mountains on that top left quadrant. Uh, but yeah, uh, we, we didn't want that. We, it, it's, I mean, I, I, I agree. The map looks gorgeous as is. A little bit of snow, a little bit of desert, and, and then a big green area. Yeah, I think it just segments the map well. And again, a lot of the community talked about this and they delivered. With reference to them listening, I'm gonna bring this up again on Reddit. Who else wishes that the Clombos could be tamed by Clomberries? In my last video, I said that they, or we talked about a Reddit concept where you have a Clomberry on a stick while you're on top of Clombo and then he will follow it, right? Just like pig, pigs in, in Minecraft, it's the same way. So you can control it while you're riding. Uh, so the more we mention it, with them listening lately, maybe, maybe they'll add it. <laughs> I just want to see it. I want to ride into battle on a Clombo, and I think we all do. So I'm just going to keep mentioning it. Also, someone mentioned on Reddit, I think this map is my favorite we've ever had. I love the small details such as this. In the desert, you can find a river that is dried up, and because of that, this little town was abandoned. For me, it's the little things that give this map so much personality. And I, yeah, I, just, I, I agree with them. It, someone said in the comments of that, and it's just like a scavenger hunt, right? There's so much to discover with this new map. And I think most people are considering this map the best map uh, Fortnite's ever had. And, and I think I'm in that boat. But be sure to subscribe to the channel when nobody's on, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a big week of Fortnite, and I'm your newsman. All right, stick with me. Some stats of Clombo's sneeze loot pool. <laughs> That's a weird thing to say out loud. 60% chance to get an uncommon item, 25% for a rare item, 10% epic, and 5% chance legendary. You have a 0.7% chance to get a legendary Stinger SMG. Okay, so there are there, there's some really good loot there if, uh, uh, yeah, you stick around long enough. And, <laughs> yeah, I just uh, the more we talk about the Clombos, the better, right? Everyone's loving this guy. 
The feature that Hypex talked about last month is still being worked on. In 1910, Epic added another trait audio for robot hands and arms. Few of these are already implemented in some skins, but most of them aren't. Uh, and he's talking about this tweet from a while ago. Basically, uh, upcoming unique sounds for different clothes, right? Heels, or types of shoes, heels, dress shoes, heavy barefoot, sandals, sneakers. Those will all make different sounds based on what type of shoes the skin you're currently wearing has or the skin you're around has. I, it, it's cool, man. I, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a little thing that I think just adds even more uniqueness to each little skin. Let's talk about Covert Cavern. This is the IO's uh, main POI whenever it comes. It might come next week. But we're not too sure. It was supposed to come out last week, but it was delayed. Uh, and, and, and yeah, IO's main base and possibly where they're uh, working on their own version of Caddis. I don't know, working on or protecting or feeding and training, but right, the, the monster versus robot battle version two is what we talked about last last video, and that looks to be our next live event. And uh, I think Covert, once it comes out, will, will help answer that. But my point is, guards at this new POI will drop this. Guard one, blue striker shotgun, four shotgun ammo, three minis, one medi, five bandies, one of those. Uh, guard two will do blue stinger SMG, some ammo, and, and the same heals there. There's also the IO Brute Boss, and he drops this, Mythic Stinger SMG, that's going to be OP. Two heals out of these three this time, three minis, one guzzle, one med miss, super OP. This boss is supposed to spawn at Covert Cavern, which got delayed from 1910 to probably 192 or later. That's what Hypex said. Yeah, that's the thing I'm looking forward to most right now is that new POI. I think it's going to... It's going to give us some insight into next season and again, the live event. Uh, if you, you can check out my previous video after you're done with this one if you want. We, we really dove deep into that theory and the evidence backing it up. A lot of Star Wars lightsaber files were re-added in 19.1. Either Epic are planning on bringing these back or they are working on a new melee weapon and are basing it off the animations and abilities. I think he's right. Reminder, Star Wars times Fortnite. I think they want, they are going to do a season. Fully based on this. I really think they will. And it, it's just a matter of when, right? My, my thought is when the, the Obi-Wan Kenobi uh, series comes out as a Star Wars fan, that's what I'm looking forward to most right now. And I think it'd be a big enough deal to uh, to, to create a full Fortnite season with it. So, yeah, there, there's still hope. I, I there, there's Yeah, there's not a ton of evidence for it. I'm just basing it off uh, relationships Epic Games has and uh, I, I guess popularity, right? I, it, it would be a popular season. So let me know your thoughts. I don't know when or where, but I think it's going to come at some point. Here's the big news of the day. Donald Mustard had a string of tweets. I'll read them out to you in order. Seeing a very good and mysterious thing. What? And then a gif with to be continued dot, dot, dot. And I believe Back to the Future tease, right? And then finally seeing a very good and mysterious thing. What hopes to be continued as? And, and that's where it ended. So super cryptic. This was tweeted during the NFL playoff games. And everyone's like, ah, it's, it's just about the playoffs. Donald Mustard's tweets always mean something. And I, it's not even reaching anymore when I say that. You can go back, previous evidence. He's teasing something here. And weirdly enough... The, the same day, the same 24 hours, The Rock says he is bringing one of the biggest, most BA games to the screen. I can't tell you which game in particular we're doing, but there will be an announcement this year. Come on, man. The Rock, The Foundation, Donald Mustard tweeting these things. To, to what, what the theory is, is Donald Mustard is getting a first look, a first screening at the Fortnite movie featuring The Rock. Now that might be a little bit of a reach, but at the same time, I'd believe it if it happened. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Take care. Talk soon, everybody. Goodbye.